We're Eamon and Beck, and we're currently building our dream tiny home on wheels. With only 80 square feet of living space, how we decide to lay out the van is definitely the most important part. And we've gone with a floor plan we've never seen done before. Woo! Smells like a serious bonfire. Yeah, the joint. <laughs> Simply comes up, you lean in, full size queen van. Always for the mattress. Hey guys, before we get into today's video, we want to address the Black Lives Matters movement that has been happening across the world. It is a movement that is long overdue and Eamon and I both understand that our role in this movement is to use our white voices to help amplify the voices of people of color. Over the past couple of weeks, we've been doing the research understanding how black people have been treated over the past hundred years and I would recommend starting with the Netflix documentary, The 13th. It's an incredible resource. There are amazing um, people online sharing what we can do to help to learn, to grow, and to become active allies in this fight. Okay. Everything from podcasts we've listened to, to people we love following, it will all be linked in the top line of the description box. We've also are supporting the movement. We've donated $1,500 towards Color of Change. Color of Change is an organization that I found through um, the TED Talks Racism Affects Everybody or Us All by Heather McGee and it's um, an organization that creates campaigns that really actively eradicate injustices. We encourage you guys to donate what you can, where you can, to share, to have difficult conversations both on and offline and to just do our part to make the world a better place. We hope you guys will join us in this movement and enjoy the video. This is usually how we start our mornings. I'm over here having cereal and Beck's over there having cereal with her headphones on. Misophonia. Looks like we got a very nice day to work on the van. Let's see what Bob's doing. Bobby! Hey, children, how are you? Look at all this square footage. Yeah, we got lots more room back. So we're shipping it out. <laughs> Before we jump into the van. We are packing up some chai orders. We have the stickers. Normally we have some tunes on and we, we get the packages ready to go. Where's that one going? This one's going to Tulsa, Oklahoma. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Thanks, Cindy. Cindy Woodward. Thank <laughs> you so much. <laughs> because it's uh, removable in case we need to fix any of the components. And uh, you can shove it right into the weird kind of crevices. So water repellent, fire repellent. Ah, There's no wool, man. Ah, There's no wool, it's big. I am looking for, ah, okay. Line these up. I'm in need of some guidance, <laughs> some guidance. We want to keep that look in the van consistent. So we're going to utilize some old piece of tongue groove. Old? I just spent all morning painting those. Sorry, They're brand buddy. freaking new, you bud. Good. <laughs> and we're gonna glue them all together and then strengthen it as one piece and then attach it to the side door. So we're gonna use the piece that was there as a template and then we're gonna cut her out with a jigsaw. Beck's gonna have to repaint it a little bit because it's <laughs> looking a little shanty. And, uh, and then I think we're ready to throw it in. I just wanna say, who wore it better, guys? Amen. Or back. <laughs> I love that you've done the side dip on the side there as well. Very nice. Looking good, man. Sort of like in a wind 
Yeah. I think what happens is it blows around here and then gets stuck there and then comes through here. <laughs> Do you need a shove her downer? A shove her downer? I don't think so, buddy. Buddy, can you not get some in here, Val? Down in here? Oh, no, Shove her downer? Yeah. But when we do down here, I'll need to shove her up. <laughs> oh, you got a different tool. Love <laughs> just makes me blue. When I'm in your company, I always feel brand new. Loving you. Moment of truth. How does she look? Although Rafa looks great. Good work, you guys. <gasps> nice. Oh, oh, paint department! Yoo-hoo, darling! <laughs> Looks nice, baby, thank you! What do you guys think? Looks really nice, really premium, so I'm gonna just sand paint one or two more times and then big old check mark. Love it! Smell some burning wood or something over here. <laughs> if you guys thought me using my drill on hammer mode to screw in screws was annoying, wait till you see this one. What are you doing? I'm using my angle grinder to cut quarter inch plywood. Woo! Smells like a serious bonfire. Out the joint. <laughs> yeah, I just gotta I gotta plane it down a little bit, and the planer won't fit. Uh... I have this in my hand. I know it's not right, I'm burning the wood, I get it, I get it, but for this job it's fine. You've literally burnt. Oh yeah, don't look at that. No, I gotta clean that up. <laughs> Take it, baby! <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel better? Yeah. Sorry guys, yesterday I just wasn't in the right zone. I feel like with the van build you go up and down and up and down. It's an overwhelmed, excited, overwhelmed, excited. But I'm feeling good today. We're gonna try and finish the bed. Maybe let's just start with that. address a lot of comments about this being notched out and not long, no longer being a 2x6. Thank you very much. We are extremely aware of that. But you might not be aware of the other side here, which is a solid piece of metal L. So this is actually where all the weight is coming from. And I'm not too concerned about this piece. This piece is really just to hold on to that hinge. All right, little temporary solution. Zip ties. I broke into the brownness land. I'm on my knees, babe. Can't no game of feeling it. Can't no game of feeling it. Shadow on the water. Back to Home Depot. Oh, you guys are eating without me. Oh, we thought you already ate, man. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> just kidding. All right, I'll just go back to the Home Depot then. Okay. There's food for you, bud. You get a hot dog there, I think. <laughs> <laughs> no, we got yours right here, bud. Thanks, dude. Oh, boy. <clears throat> I ate too much. I ate too much, but it's all good stuff. Veggies and rice. Okay. Let's get these windows framed. 
Well, I'm not gonna lie, we had a bit of a disappointing experience with the window frames, so I have decided to abandon that project. <laughs> move on to the bed. This is how we're gonna attach the metal, what's it called, square to Slider. the bottom, the sliders. I'm sure we're just freaking ourselves out. I'm sure the engineering department wouldn't put me up here if it wasn't solid. I could probably sit up there. We could probably pull this out a little farther. Whoa, buddy! There you go. It's solid. solid. And you're gonna put your knee on there. Oh my gosh, stop! You're freaking me out, dude. You gotta be good. Remember, it's just for the footer. Well, right? get up there. <laughs> <laughs> go for it. No, oh my gosh, it's terrifying. No, that's that's solid. No, I don't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to do that. I'm not getting up on the bed. But you're, you there's no way you're double us. No. Just a quick shout out to my man, Eamon. Me. <laughs> I <laughs> told her to give me a shout out. No, two months ago, seriously, you came to me with this idea and I didn't know how it was going to work. So here's how it works. The footer or the backing of the couch simply comes up. You lean in, full size queen bed. What do you call the stuff that you're doing? Like the strapping or the framing or? While Eamon continues to cut pieces to frame out the bed, I am taking the Ikea slats we got last week and I am going to be pre-drilling with a countersink bit as well so that when the framing slots are done, those can be drilled right in. Did I sound like I know what I'm doing there? Sure hope so, friends. We gotta test this. And take a nap. Oh yeah! And? It's crazy, dude. Oh, I've got plenty of space. That's awesome. Bob said he's going. <laughs> Bob said he's going. Look at that, man. Bob's up. Engineering, look nice. out. Look at crack. Get comfy. Okay, I'll wait for the mattress. Yeah. 700 pounds? <laughs> I can see you guys sitting here having a party one time with six people. Yeah, for sure. Hey, the matinees, the other people. Yeah, <laughs> man. <laughs> Bob, it's amazing how much those uh, angles are going. Going down? Like, yeah. like almost 45 degrees. Angles. The black pipe, but I think it's okay. Like, I don't think it's a... Yeah. Well, we'll see when I get off if they don't close. <laughs> <laughs> Done. Tick. 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 All right, folks. <laughs> Just for fun. <laughs> All right, let me see if it works. I need some love like I never needed love before, yeah. Do ya, baby, I had a little love. Now I'm back for more. Good morning. Good morning. Fitzgerald, man, we got a new uh, bandit in town. Bandana bandit. Oh yeah, my bandit. <laughs> and? He won't let me cut his hair. Our induction cooktop. Yeah, arrived. this is something that we, we kind of been on the fence for because we are such big cookers and we love using gas but we have such a big battery bank we didn't want to do propane again so we are we're going with induction so we're literally just testing it out to see how quickly it boils we actually uh, bought one centimeter of water two of them one of them was set up horizontal it had the buttons on the side and I thought at first it's not a big deal uh, because it has bigger surface area for your pots but um, I think this is the move yeah I like this one yeah and we got new IKEA stainless steel pots Woo! Food's gonna be sticking. We were just out in the van making some big decisions. I figured I'd bring you guys outside so you can have a look. 
I know you can't like weigh in right now, but at least you can kind of see where our head's at. Welcome to our living room space. We're currently working on the second counter slash the bathroom shower area slash where the toilet goes. And the question is whether we cut in for this cabinetry or if this is enough space. But I think I vote it's not enough space. Yeah, there's a few people last week asking for it. Get Bob a headband. So, got Bob a headband. Wait till you see Bob's bun coming up in a few months. <laughs> I know what a 2x3 looks like. Well, I want to show you. No, I've seen a 2x3 before. Well, those two are figuring out how and where and whatever we're building. I've got to fix these slats. We had a visit from John, who's our neighbor, where we get our mattresses from, and he said they're too far apart for foam. For the foam so, that he's recommending. Yeah, so I'm going to try to re-space these, use what we had left, and just kind of like, not this close, but maybe an inch apart. So this will be week two using the old Craig, and I feel like we're coming a long way. Thanks to a lot of comments recommending we use the stopper that came with the kit. That's a smart idea. And uh, huh? It's called, it's called the collar, Bexis. The collar. Where, where, was, where was back last week? Here's the collar. Yeah. I know this might sound silly, but this is the first task I have ever completed from beginning to end, all on my own. I even had an issue with like a countersink thing and I figured it out, so ta-da, feeling very proud. And it does feel much more comfy even just sitting on it. That should be good. Craig saved the day. <laughs> we, uh, we're, more, getting, we're getting into a, a good group here. Yeah? More, I won't disturb you guys then. I know Eamon's easily distracted. <laughs> First made the Lego and now we've got to put them together. Nice. The impressive part is everything's working out. And yeah, we built these all using our friend Craig. It's come real in handy. Now we'll just fire them in. This sure. one's over here. So this is just gonna be a drawer and sort of a seating area, kind of like we had in Trinity. Yeah. Not too tall. A maybe bigger. maybe a fold-out table for outside cooking. And this is the chip box. <laughs> Slash shower. Slash shower area. We had a dead battery on the camera, so for the first time ever, you guys are gonna see some changes without seeing how we got to these changes. Lots has been happening this afternoon. I'm gonna turn off this music. Amy's <laughs> always laughing at me because I'm cleaning up. As you go. As I go. A little bit too much. Yeah. Like I where's like, where's the nail gun? What? In the middle of the day, where'd the nail gun go? Oh yeah, I put it away. Right. I've become like super like more egg. freak. More egg like. Eamon's mom more egg like. Shout out to more egg. I mean I love more egg, but <laughs> it's like I just I can't Not one of leave her best without traits. the house tidy even though it's a construction zone, which is ridiculous. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> 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 That's Lucy's party trick. Oh, nice one, Lucy. He's got more than that. <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to the Van Build Project. This morning we went over to the Home Depot, so we picked up some of the pieces we needed to finish our last window frame, and it looks amazing. Oh, wow. Did you guys hear that? We went to the Home Depot. Yeah. <laughs> yes, so true. It was quite a special moment. It was, and I didn't even have to leave you in there or have a fight or anything. As I did with the other window, I'm just going to go around and put some wood filler in the cracks, sand it down, paint her up. 25 and a half. We're making big decisions today. We are working on the benches and 
We're actually thinking that this van's gonna be able to sleep four. Woohoo! Bob, you coming for a road trip? Woo! Bob and two dogs. <laughs> hey vlog, how are you? Uh, it's been raining a little bit on and off. My beautiful fiance is absolutely just lipsticking the van. Oh my gosh. A little so prematurely, if you ask me. She likes to do all the touch ups before the van's even built. But it's looking fantastic. Show them um, that little, it's my new favorite job. I gave her some silicone to do this edge and. Right? Jig. <laughs> What happened to the Craig Jig chant? Uh, you got bored, you didn't want to say Jig. Craig. <laughs> I'll switch it up, I'll say Craig. When you say Craig, I'll say Jig. I'll say Jig, Craig. <laughs> Question mark? <laughs> what is that? Throw it in. This is a tricky one. Can you get a shot for me? Sure. All right, we're entering Bob Cam. Expect the quality to improve, right, Bob? Um, you're gonna sit down when you film. <laughs> I'm filming. I need to push. No, no, we're live. We're live. Oh, okay. This bench is taking a lot more time than Bob and I would like to admit, but it is a little bit tricky. Uh, can they see that bench? We got a two by four on here because we're gonna add a piano hinge so we can access the storage. So I'm just gonna put this guy in here as a support right in the middle. And then um, we still need to figure out kind of the bench top. So that's the update. It's been a little bit complicated, but having a good day, Bob? Very good day, yeah, we're very productive. I'm not sure Craig has ever seen a Craig go right into the floor. This is probably a first time for You know Craig. what, Craig's probably gonna call us and say, I didn't even know you could do that. <laughs> Okay, so what are you doing? What are you doing is the question. <laughs> you want strength? You got to put it in the middle? Yeah, you want strength, right? Okay, this is hitting on all kind of the corners here. So it's really, really solid. And then obviously we'll put plywood in the spots that we haven't yet. This is Becca's uh, yoga corner. <laughs> so it's all going to be cushioned this entire corner. Yeah. So she can kind of just chill in here. Yeah. And then it's kind of going to be comfortable like once the toilet's in here, you can like kind of like put your feet up here, which I kind of like doing. So yeah. Or you can use this as like a little mini desk. Or yeah, you can like work here. I see myself sitting cross-legged working there a yeah. lot. Where's Bob? Here's Bob with this week's birthday wish. <laughs> Before we jump into it, we just want to say thank you to everyone who sent in your anniversary birthday request. We're going to choose one per video moving forward to give a little shout out to you. And, and this, this week is... Susan Kellett from Wrights Grove, Susan! Ontario. Susan! Happy birthday, Susan! Susan, thanks for all your support with the tea business as well as watching our content. We really appreciate you. Susan's turning 51. The love's coming from her husband, Scott. And we'll see you guys Sunday. Bye, Susan. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Susan. <laughs> <laughs>